Now, it is December Eve, and uh, thoughts are turning to reflecting on this year that's passed and whether the pandemic has given any of us a new perspective on life. So, Syra, what about you? Yeah, I think um, since we've been in lockdown, absolutely that time to be obviously with my family, but more importantly, to be with myself and to assess who I am, and the person I want to be coming out of this lockdown. And I have to say, you know, being in the media, being on the telly, um, you put your neck on the line sometimes. You share your intimate stories and some people don't like it. You know, you're either too loud for them. You're too opinionated for them. You're not Muslim enough. You're, you know, you're too strong. You're too assertive. Mm. Everybody's got an opinion and it used to get to me. But now I think I've had a really good eight, nine months to sit down and think, this is who I am. If you like it, engage. If you don't, see you later. And I think um, also I'm very conscious about the way women are treated, both in the media and in life generally. Um, and I want to put a stand to that. Just you have to be strong. You have to be opinionated and you have to uh, go out there and grab life and, and not make excuses. And that is who I am. That is who I'm going to be moving forward. It's about just being comfortable with who I am. I'm very mm. happy with the life. I'm very grateful with the life I've got. But I am not going to take BS from people that have no impact or positive impact on my life. Mm. Um, and I'm not going to put myself into situations that don't make me happy. I think my personal happiness is something that I've taken away from this pandemic, definitely. Yeah. Mm. I think for me, I, I agree totally with what Sarah was saying. And I think for me, it's, it's about, you know, I, I'm grateful for being alive. So I have to give thanks for that because this year has not been great for a lot of my friends who've lost loved ones or have had loved ones that are ill and everything. So I'm grateful for that. And it's, <clears throat> it's kind of shown, taught me to be much more understanding of the other person's needs and, and what, they, what they want. I've, I've been, you know, with everything that's been going on with the, the uh, government rules and this and that, I've been kind of thinking, well, I might just try my hand at a little bit of going in there and shaking things up a little bit. Well, and I'm just going to politics. Well, you never know. I think they need a bit of love in there. They need a bit of, you know, a bit of me. Well, I'd vote for you. That's the I point. know. Oh, yeah, I would. You could be I'd prime vote minister. Go in there and just shake things up a little bit. It, you know, just to, to... I think that, that the government need to look at the bigger picture more mm. than what they are. It's, it seems very, you know, this one's doing that one, this one's doing that one. I like it when everybody agrees and can come together and just be you in unity. Yeah. That's what I want. What about you, Linda? I think a bit the same. I feel the same as the girls have just said. I feel really grateful. I feel really grateful that my family are safe um, and I feel really lucky because obviously lots of people are going through... Uh, it, at first in lockdown, it was just like... I've never been so depressed, not, not being yeah. able to see the family, uh, not being able to come to work for the first five weeks. But I think, luckily for us, we were able to come back and it's given us a reason to yeah. get up in the day and get ready and go to work and, and that. And like with Christmas coming up and that as well, I'm looking forward to those five days. Obviously, we'll take every precaution mm. because, you know, they mean more to me than anything else in the world. If it meant that there was any danger, I'd choose not to see the family. But... Yeah. Um, yeah, I just think it's made me more grateful and more understanding. And, and I also realise that I actually don't mind my own company. Yeah. Because um, before I've always been one going out for lunch all the time with my yeah. mates and seeing everybody and then all of a sudden you're indoors on your own, you know, like sometimes. But I actually don't mind my own company. And thank God for Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Andrea? Well, what about you, you know, Andrea? I think, Siren and, and all of you, you know, I, I think like so many people, this has been a time to hugely reflect and think back. And I think so many people have been talking about, oh, I can't wait for life to get back to the new, to, to normal, whatever yeah. normal is. And I think I, like many people, did that and, and sat and thought, do I want my life to go back to the normal that it was before? Yeah. And obviously, the, the last year, I had a nervous breakdown. And there's the, what I felt is that this year, collectively, the world has had a breakdown. Yeah. And the experience mm -hmm. that I had has meant that this year, I've actually been mentally really strong to deal with everything the pandemic sort of threw at, at, at all of us. But it made me stop and think, what do I actually want? You know, if there is anything that can show us that we only get one, you get one life, yeah. mm. are you living it the way that you want? Yeah. And are you doing everything that you want to do? Are you being brave? Are you taking chances? And I realised, 
No. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh don't, Andrea. And I'm gonna say. So, I didn't think I was gonna cry. I've told you, ladies, just yeah. before we came on air. I'm gonna be. Oh, I'm gonna be leaving oh, loose women. And, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, no. I didn't mean oh. to cry. I'm so sorry. Because I want to be brave. I really want to. All the incredible feedback that I had from my book and the support I was able to give them. I want to, I want to bring it to life and I want to, um, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Um, oh, I'm the wrong I'm one for you to say. It's coming out um, all It was a really, really big decision to jump and see if I fall or if I fly. And I just thought, I will never know unless I try. So. I'm saying goodbye to this. We're going to miss you so much, Andrea, oh, honestly. Yes, You've been you amazing, are. honestly, and a real good friend to me. When I was going through my depression and everything, you were the one that was ringing all the time to see if I was OK. And I just know that we won't lose touch. We'll still be oh, seeing each gosh, other. Oh, gosh, no. I know, I, yeah, I, we'll thank all... you. I know, yeah. And I'm, I'm not leaving today. No. Um, this is just my day to, to tell you guys. And, and it's uh, your choice, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. And and ITV have been amazing. You know, I've I've been anchoring Loose Women for 13 years now. Uh, I've been part of ITV Daytime for 23, <laughs> 23 years. Wow. And actually, the team have been so wonderful. And we've, can we help? Is uh, would you like less days so you can focus on your business? Because really, the, the the you know, I'm not saying goodbye to telly either. You know, I, all I'm doing is just. You just never know unless you try. So I just want to put myself out there, see what the universe has in store, help as many women as I possibly can, in whatever way that means. But for now, back, it means with my website and all all the love and effort that I'm putting into into well, that. Well, Andrea, that'll be my focus. Andrea, I know whatever you do, you're going to make a success of it. But if you think you're going to leave this show without us getting your whole career <laughs> and showing you what you've achieved. We are going to dig the archives. We are going to get your oh, no, friends do on. We are going to go to past <laughs> colleagues. We are going to give you a massive send off. So don't you worry. Oh, don't thank you. Don't use the clips and share too much Botox, will you? No, whatever. No, don't show those clips. Don't show those clips. <laughs> sorry, I'm just oh, a no, no, I know. I know. But this is not goodbye. It's au revoir because I'm still going to be here right up till Christmas.